Knowing your water application rate is useful when programming your automatic sprinkler system. Here's how you can find out the application rate. Start by finding identically sized catch cups. Cups should be about one to three inches tall. Using a ruler, mark the cups from the inside bottom to the one inch mark, making sure they are all the same. We are using measurements every eighth of an inch. Starting at the edge of the lawn, set one catch cup down, then measure approximately four feet and place another catch cup. When you finish making your irrigation collection grid, it should appear as a square pattern. It may help to make a diagram of your final pattern. Our final pattern has nine cups. Turn on your sprinkler system and let it run for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, check your catch cups. Measure each of the nine cups separately and record the exact amount collected in each cup. This data will give you an idea of how your sprinkler system evenly distributes water over your yard. Now time for some math. Add together the amount of water collected by each cup and divide by the total number of cups. This will give you the average amount of water collected in 20 minutes. To get the average in inches per hour, we need to do a little more math. If you watered for 20 minutes, you'll need to multiply the average amount you just found by three to get the output per hour. We used nine cups, so our equation looks like this. Total water collected in 20 minutes divided by nine equals the average water collected in 20 minutes. An average water collected in 20 minutes times three equals irrigation output in inches per hour. With this number, you have an idea of what your typical irrigation output is when watering your lawn in inches per hour. Here's an example of a watering plan you can use as a starting point. For more tips on how to save water in and around the house, log on to our website and always look for the WaterSense label whenever you shop.